Hi, my name is Paul Keeley. In this session, we're going to look at application deployment with user device affinity. Hey everybody. In the last blog, we looked at how we connect a user to a device and make the device the user's primary device. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to deploy Adobe Reader to uh, users and I'm going to require admin approval for it and I'm going to say that it can only be deployed to a user if it's their primary device. So um, I'm sitting in a software library, I'm in applications and there's my Adobe Reader package and what I'm just going to do is I'm going to go to the properties uh, of the package and on the properties of the package I'm going to go to deployment types. So from deployment types I can see my Adobe Reader I'm just going to hit edit and when I hit edit what we're looking for is the requirements section because what I want to do is I want to put a requirement on this to say if you are deploying to a user the primary device must be true. Okay, so category user condition primary device operator equals true. Okay, I just hit OK on that. I just hit apply, OK, apply, and OK. Next thing I want to do is I'm just going to, to deploy this application. Uh, it's a user collection. I'm going to deploy it to all users so everybody can get this. Um, I'm going to say here that it requires admin approval. Next. Next, 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 next. So we now have a deployment available to the all users collection. The application has been told you're only allowed um, install if it's your primary device. And just the last thing to set the stage here, under user device affinity, I've set allow users to define their primary device set to true. On the machine that I want all this to happen, I'm just going to uh, pull policy real quick so that uh, my advertisement comes down. And then what I'm just going to do is I'm going to go to Software Center. If you haven't opened Software Center before, it's just sitting under, you know, Microsoft System Center, Config Manager, Software Center. And what Software Center is going to do is it's going to uh, send me on a link to the application catalog. So in the application catalog, uh, Adobe Reader appears, um, but one of the things is it says require admin approval and that's ticked to yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to request it. Can I have it please? So, you know, I just fill in the characters. I just hit submit. And once I get the, uh, you know, it's been approved okay, well then that is uh, pretty much instantaneously sitting on um, my uh, approvals request inside software library. So uh, there's my approvals request. Um, I just go to my latest one in. I hit approve. And when I hit approve, Yes, sir. You can see, um, can I have a please appeared from the user comments? Yes, sir. You can sure have it. I hit um, OK. And then all the user needs to do is um, go back to the application catalog. And it now says require admin approval. No, because, you know, uh, I've just fired it in. So if I hit uh, install right now. It says, are you sure you want to um, install this application? And I say yes. Now, what I'm hoping is, is that this is going to fail because this user um, is not the primary user. You know, this device isn't the primary user. So you can see, uh, let's just have a look at this. Application installation didn't start. The computer does not meet the minimum requirements for the application to install. 
So here's what I'm going to do inside the application catalog. I'm just going to go to my devices and from my devices I'm going to say I regularly use this computer to do my work. I take it and off it goes. Um, if you just take it straight away uh, I would normally pull policy again. You know this is a demo like I'm doing it all real time. So I want um, the, the machine to pull policy so that it knows, so the config manager knows you know this is my act so now this time when I hit install and I say yes it's going to run some checks on the machine uh, it's evaluating uh, that the machine meets the minimum requirements and that you know I am in fact a primary user on this box and once it's done that it's gonna start the install okay so your application installation has started if we just have a look then at Software Center, you can see Adobe Reader status installed. And if I just have a look, there is Adobe Reader ready to go. So just to recap some of the things that we covered in uh, this, this blog, we went to an application, um, Adobe Reader, Inside the application, we went into the properties of it and we said that the application could only be deployed um, when there was a requirement and the requirement was that the primary device equals true. Okay, When we deployed the application, we deployed it just to a user's collection. So when it's deployed to a user's collection, you can see there, um, we said it requires admin approval and then with a combination of software center and the application catalog we were able to make the device our primary device and get it to deploy and uh, it all happened. In a later video blog I'm going to show uh, a tool called the application approval workflow and what that does is it takes these application requests it basically uh, stops the requirement of a config manager administrator from managing them and it sends them over to service manager where more sophisticated and complex workflows can run and to help us manage and deploy uh, applications much smoother.